hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy ybk here back with another video and today i'll be showing you guys how to get google play store on any amazon fire tab 7 so without further ado let's get into it Alright, so the first thing you need to do is go to settings, then go to security and privacy, then you need to enable apps from unknown sources, then select OK. Alright, so next you need to ensure that you have Wi-Fi connection. Let me just check it back right here. All right, great, so I have connection. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and go over to the browser. And we're going to paste the link. Hold on, let me just close this out. All right, yes, so now we're gonna paste the link that is in the description. All right, and go. Alright, so now you need to download all four of these apps here. So select download, then direct download. And do the same for the others also. Hold on, let me just go back here. Alright, yes. So now you just go ahead and download the other three. so now that they're all downloaded we're going to go ahead now and go to the home screen then select docs then go to the download folder and you'll be right here so you need to install google play store last so let's start with the other ones google account manager Alright, so now that Google Play Store is finished installing, you select done, then go back to the home screen. Then scroll down and it will be right there. Alright, so now you need to log in. Alright, so now you're going to enter your Google email address and your password. So let me just put mine in here. Alright, then select agree and wait for this to load agree
all right so now you're logged in all right so you'll need to go ahead and update google play services you'll get the message on the notification bar and then select update all right so it will be downloading an update of google play store automatically so just wait on that one to finish and then it will automatically install all right let's see here all right so now it's downloading the update for the google play services from before so once it finishes it will automatically install to the system and then you will have your google play store up and running and working so guys if you enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe and share and if you want to see more of my videos you can select the links at the end of this one thank you guys for watching